You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Okay. All right. Friends, it's Rachel LaForce. I'm here. I'm on the mic. We're doing it. Welcome to the Rachel LaForce Show. If this is your first time, what an honor. What an honor to have you here. Uh, I hope that this is what you're wanting it to be today, tuning in. I feel that way often. I started listening to a new podcast this morning on my walk, and it was one of those for me where I'm like, I only get this walk this morning. This is all I get all day to nurture me. So this podcast better be the one I really needed this morning. Uh, And it was. And then my new headphones that my husband so graciously uh, bought for me, my noise canceling headphones died. They died. Um, But you know what? It's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, So I hope that that's what this is for you today. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Rachel LaForce. I am a comedian. I'm a healer. I'm a spiritual teacher. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. I'm a podcaster. Uh, and mostly I am on, I'm just on a journey, man. And I'm, I'm here to help share the things that work for me, the things that have altered and changed my life. And I really love to share and connect with all of you in that way. So that's really what we do on this podcast. Um, I'm not going to save you. I'm not going to heal you. That's for you. You're welcome. Uh, But yeah, this is a spiritual podcast for me, a comedian. uh, And these are my spiritual lessons learned. So let's get into it. Today is June 6th when you are listening to this. Um, Oddly, I will actually be, I'm in Boston right now and you're listening to this, uh, doing a live podcast recording But looking into really where we're at, um, I want to talk about contraction today. And I want to talk about uncomfortability. And I want to talk about um, what it feels like when it feels like we're slipping backwards. But, you know, where it's the two steps forward, two steps back, right? And I'm actually going to close my eyes for most of this episode if you're like, what is happening? Uh, that's what's happening. I'm just super uh, neurodivergent and it's easier for me to hear what needs to come through when my eyes are closed. Um, so honestly, if I could walk around uh, in many spaces like this, I'm getting better about it where it's like, it's fine to close your eyes when you're talking to somebody. You don't have to explain a jiffy loop why you got to close your eyes so you can repeat back to them what they said about your car so you can go home and tell your husband. You know what I mean? Like they don't need that information. It's fine. Just close your eyes and repeat the information back to them. So why I want to talk about this idea of contraction. A, it is hitting me like a ton of bricks. I hate it. I don't like it. And uh, I don't have therapy this week. So kind of a way for me just to share with you what's going on with me. Uh, But also I know that this is so real for all of us right now. We're making these huge steps forward. Um, And what's interesting is I was thinking about this, that our change doesn't actually happen in this big jump, right? Like I, like, so for me, right, we've got our, um, our new studio space is under contract and that would be slated to be open soft launch in August. Right. And so in, in some ways it can be like, Oh, in August, like that's when it all begins. No, 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 no. It all begins now. And in fact, it begun when it began, when we started looking for properties, one could argue it started that before we even had the funding to be able to do that. It started when we were dreaming about it back in our first apartment in LA. Right. And so how these things really change, how things actually come into fruition and materialize and shift is through our ability, our willingness to stay in trust while we're uncomfortable. I'm going to say that again. True growth happens from our willingness to stay in trust when we're uncomfortable and friends, motherfucker, I, my body feels so uncomfortable. Everything about this transition feels uncomfortable and not like, Oh, I can't do it. Like it, that's not the vibe. And again, I share that because I feel like 
in many ways, this podcast episode is very personal, but like I said, I know where you guys are at and I know that this is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Either you're totally aware of this, that that's what's been happening. That's what you've been moving through. That's what you've been going through, or you're starting to come online to it and you're like, oh my gosh, holy shit, same. Or you're totally hip to it like me and you're like, yeah, this is miserable. I'm glad somebody else <laughs> feels it too, right? There's, I mean, A, we could be grateful that we're feeling this, at least here in the States, during summertime. I mean, at least it's not the dead of winter, right? Like at least like, okay, you can go outside, you can get some sun on your face, you know, um, maybe it's warm where you are, like you can, you know, get a little sweat going. Like there, there's a lot of benefit to experience this sense of growth contraction when when it's nice out, right? So with contractions, I think a lot about obviously pregnancy. If you haven't had a baby, if you're not planning on having a baby, it's totally fine. This is just a metaphor, right? That when your body contracts, it's your body gathering that energy and it's ready to like push the baby down more and more and more. Your body is contracting because it's preparing to push a baby out right? It's not contracting because it's like, well, we wanted this to be harder for you, right? Like it's not contracting because you can't do it. It has to do that in order for your body to loosen up through that uncomfortability, through that quote unquote pain in order to open you up and allow your body to relax enough to be able to like push your baby out, right? And it's also the perfect example too, because you're working with baby, right? You can't, you, you have to be able to support when it's like, when those contractions are coming, it's like, all right, baby's ready to move. Let's go. Like you have to move with the baby. And the same thing is true right now where you are, these contractions, these constrictions, this frustration that you're feeling that you're experiencing is because this is what you have to either burn off. Again, we've been talking all about this of letting things die. And I feel like there are really, really big ones outside of ourselves that we've moved to let go of that we've moved through. But these are the ways that are real tricky. These are the habits, the habitual nature of who you say you are that cannot go with you, right? Where you're going, these things that have become a part of you they cannot go with you. Right. And so there's a lot of that. That's what this constriction is because you're trying to let go of these things. You're trying to change them. And maybe your outer world isn't in a place yet where it's fully able to either make space for that contraction or your space and your, your place in the world right now, energetically is not open enough to support that contraction, which is why you feel that constriction, because it feels like you don't have anywhere to go. And um, actually, haha, bringing back the podcast that I listened to this morning, Soul Archaeology, I believe, uh, is the name of the podcast. We'll link it. We'll give her credit. And she was talking about uh, that she did a time lapse of a lotus blooming and that in between this beautiful bloom that there were these senses of contraction. So you would see where it would go to bloom and that would come back in and then it would bloom again. And which is also why I love sharing. Cause it's like, I'm sure, you know, she, um, had those thoughts through different things that were through her own experience, then her sharing, and then it spawned my own. And now here I'm sharing, right? So Allah, also another bloom. Do you know what I mean? Oh, how does she do it? So I think that there's something really beautiful about the sense of constriction that we're feeling. Um, as my hands are in fists and I'm like, my body can't stop moving because I'm so uncomfortable in my physical body. Um, but that's okay. It's not forever. And so the quickest way out is through, right? You already know all of these things. And I think the reason why this contraction of, of however that's working for you is feeling so frustrating is either everything else has already materialized, right? Like for me, it's like, okay, the studio is here. It's not signed on the dotted line. It's ours, but like we're in a pretty ironclad contract, right? Like it's, I know that it's here. 
Um, so one would think, well, there should be no need for, you know, for frustration, like that worked out. And in fact, it worked out even like easier than you thought it would. And like all these other pieces are coming together, but where the real trick comes in is just because something else has bloomed in your life. Doesn't mean that you have fully made the, mm, how do I say this? Um, There may still be other things in the way. And and I mean, like, okay, so for instance, uh, right? Like this studio is going to be opening at the same time that both of my kids are going to preschool and to daycare. My kids have never, they've always just been home with me and my husband, okay? This is going to be a major adjustment. Now, they're only going part days, you know, so they're gone for four hours. I mean, that's a blink of an eye, especially they're in a meta state. They won't, they don't even know yesterday from today. They'll be fine. But I just mean, and, and in fact, they're going to love it. I know that that's really what they need. This is the right next step for our family, but there's a lot of pieces that come into play. Okay. I'm going to be opening up the studio. All right. There's all these other pieces that have to go in. Okay. Now also I need to make sure that I have the energy available for, okay, I'm going to be running two kids to two different locations, five days a week. That's picking them up, dropping them off. Okay. Now we also have to look into, okay, we're hiring a new staff. How can I make sure that I'm supporting that staff so that they're able to go out and do what they need to do? Okay. Now we also need to make sure that, uh, right. I'm not doing any caffeine right now. Okay. So then we have to really make sure that sleep becomes a priority so that we're getting that natural energy. Okay. Then that's also food, right? So you keep going and keep going. So just showing you that as bigger things come in, you have to be able to show the universe, to show yourself that you are able to adjust, pivot, and hold them, right? This is why we see something all the time, whether it's lottery winners are the perfect example. People win the lottery and they blow all of it. There's all these horror stories, right? Because that is a huge sum. This is not about blame also, okay? Like it's awful what has happened to a lot of these people. This is just the example of um, when we're asked to hold something that may feel bigger than us. It's no sudden moves. And you're going to feel that sense of constriction because suddenly what you've asked for is here. You are prepared for it but it is demanding a little bit higher version of yourself and even a little bit higher than you were expecting to be demanded of right now. Right? So everybody loves, Oh, you motherfuckers, you love your quantum leaps portal, taking a portal quantum leap. Fucking here's the thing. I'm here for all of it. But the thing is, is everybody loves the idea that the, that the manifestation is going to come through, that the thing is going to show up that yes, you're going to get the thing. Guess what, motherfucker? That means you have to do the work. So this sense of constriction that you're feeling, this frustration that you're feeling, the, the man, I wasn't prepared to have to do this many things at once, or even like, I actually don't even identify with that sentence. As soon as it came out, I'm like, no, I don't feel like I'm not prepared for it, but it's, wow, this is stretching me in more ways than I know even a few weeks from now. Like again, come August, I feel like it's like, okay, boom, 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 boom. We've set all these things in place. We're good now. But the bigger, the blessing, the steeper, the learning curve. The bigger the blessing, the steeper the learning curve. That doesn't mean you can't do it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't accept it. That doesn't mean that it's not yours. But, you know, it's great responsibility. It's great responsibility to find a partner who you feel like matches you in all of the ways that you want to be matched. That's great responsibility to show up for that person. I mean, that's the other thing. It's like, everybody's like, oh, I want a great, not everybody, not everybody wants to be married, but we're going general statement, right? Most people, the idea of great milestones are uh, marriage, children, six figure paying jobs, right? And great vacations. Great. That may seem real like fun and simple. Do you know how many of those things need nurturing? How, how much energy it takes to just nurture yourself, so the more and more and more you call in, you're going to have to ask for greater and greater support. So a lot of times when we talk about self-care, we think of bubble baths or massages or meditation. And for some of us, self-care is going to look like that. What self-care was for me six years ago when I was like broke 
and, you know, like newly sober and what I had access to, I still had to work two jobs and be auditioning and doing shows at night. And like, I was adjusting in so many ways. So that support I had to put in place for myself looked vastly different than what putting support in place for myself looks like now. Right. I got to adjust myself here. Um, it's one eleven, Okay. Uh, if you're an angel number person, one eleven. I, um, the support that I need now to put in place for myself feels like a larger financial risk, right? Okay. Uh, so some of my staff, all right, we've got to adjust their payment. We need to be able to offer them more because I need to be able to give them more. Okay. I need to bring on more people to be able to support what it is that we're doing so that I have the energy and the ability to drop and pick off kids from two different locations, five days a week, that I'm able to make sure I'm still getting my walks in that I can, you know, have the money to set aside, to pay a wellness practitioner to figure out what the fuck is going on with my hormones. Okay. Episode for a different day, but it's on a roller coaster. All right. So all of these things that I need to do to be able to show up and put out at the level of achievement. And I don't mean achievement as a prize, but you know what I mean? Where what it is that you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life right now, what do you need to do to be able to support yourself? That may mean you said you were going to go on a trip with your family for two weeks, and maybe that's not the best use of those two weeks. But, oh, but we always go and it's the thing and no one's going to understand and all the rest of my family go and their kids go and it's going to be, sure, there's a million reasons why you should go. Tell me the reason why you think that it's probably not in your best interest to go this year. And that's what we want to nurture. That's what we want to pay attention to. Because what is at, what is being asked of you, this uncomfortability, what's being revealed to you, this trigger point, all of these things that you're experiencing, this contraction is coming from this is the shit that they want you to pay attention to. This is the shit that you need to pay attention to. And we have the space right now to pay attention to it. Become Because come August, and the best way, this isn't a threat. This is more just Rachel Force having fun, but you're fucked, okay? Come September, you decide that you didn't like this contraction. It didn't feel good. You didn't want to do it right now. Guess what? Everything is going to speed up, and then it's going to zoom through the rest of the year. And what did I talk about last week, right? And, and many of you, I'm sure, are, are healers, are, are intuitives, empaths, creatives. You're listening. You're taking in a lot of other healers and teachers right now. And I know collectively we're all talking about the same energy, which is you have a very beautiful, pros, uh, a lot of prosperity right now. There's this beautiful respite, right? Last week I talked about that. There's kind of this like whew, open waters. So this is the time to look at. What is the, the support that I need? What is this contraction wanting to teach me? What is it here to do? So that you have two months, you can spend all of June. It's only June 6th today when you're hearing this. You can spend all of June sitting with the contraction, hearing it. What does it want to teach me? What is it here to teach me? Right? You can sit with it all month. You get a whole month. Take it. You better motherfucking take it, okay? And and sit with it. Kind of put this almost to the top of the list, friends. You know, I know I am. I have the laundry list I have is it's causing me a lot of anxious thoughts. And I keep having to go, where are your feet? Where are your feet? Because right now, today, your feet are here. So we're not going to go there yet. What needs to get done today? Your feet are here. And so really... That is the number one priority for me right now is addressing this constriction, addressing those last kind of like, you know, if you get a hangnail and ooh, and you pull it on something and most of the time it's fine. You can get through the day, wash your hands, pack a lunch, whatever. But one thing will happen. It's, if it pulls that back, your whole body is reminded of that hangnail. So that is what are those last things that maybe they don't come up a lot, but when they do, they take you to your knees. Because we have the time right now. So spend the month looking over those things, feeling into those things. Because July is going to offer us a whole new energy. Still very similar, but it's a little bit more activated and a little bit more free. Okay? And then it's like August coming into that go time. And then like, it's changing. 
Okay. This is one of those intermittent years, right? This is an eight year overall. And so we're really kind of in this place where like almost to the end of a full cycle, right? If you're looking at the numerological years uh, from one to 10, right? Uh, we're almost at the end of that. So this is kind of that last like push, 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 push. So how do you want to support yourself in that push? Take this month, get aware of that constriction of those, the, the last things that are remaining, right? We talked about this uh, last week, I think in the, in the newsletter, 999, it is done and is dead, right? Um, so that's what I'm going to leave you with. Um, and I, I hope I didn't beat you down too much. Okay. I think this is a good thing. Uh, I think this is a good thing. How awesome to be at the place where you are aware enough of this uncomfortability that you were able to sit in. I need you to be with that for a minute because I know all of us that have been doing this work, you either would have ran to booze, to sex, to clothes, to, uh, not eating, to overeating, to all of these other things, right? Dipping down, playing small, going along with it. If you felt uncomfortable a few years ago, those are all the things that you would have gone back to, right? Whichever one of those is you, because none of us are immune and you are choosing to move through the world so much differently this time. So that's exciting. That's good. We can handle to be uncomfortable. We can be uncomfortable. That's okay. It's not forever. Okay. So take this month, take the time and, and you'll be so grateful that you offered yourself the sense of support that you wrote down. Okay. Here's what's going on. Here are the triggers. Here's what's left. What do I need to do to be able to replace that with something that's supportive and positive? What do I need to do? right? Although taking caffeine out of my equation right now is uh, wreaking havoc on me. I, I don't like it. I hate it. But replacing what was not helpful for me and ruining my nervous system, my blood sugar, all of those things, I'm going to have to be uncomfortable for a little bit because I'm building whole new patterns for myself of how my body regulates. But in a few months, I'm going to be like, oh my God, thank God. I can't even believe I used to drink that much coffee and think that that was the way to go, right? No shame if right now you're enjoying your coffee. Please, by all means, motherfucking enjoy it, okay? So, uh, you know, we can we can do it. Let's get through it. Let me know. What are you, what are the things that are constricting for you? What are the things right now that you're feeling that you're being asked to, to sit with, to allow, to evolve? I, I'm here. I would love to hear all of it. In fact, I would love to hear about it so much that I've created a new way for us to connect. So uh, you can now go to the Rachel LaForce show on Substack, okay? So as uh, Rachel LaForce, I have all of my offerings on Substack now, um, just as a, as a way to have more like long form conversations, also to kind of like break up the monotony and... Um, just kind of sensory over overload that social media is. I think that there's um, a place for it and I do enjoy social, but I don't really feel like it's the place for us to truly kind of like come in and connect. And um, so we've spent a long time considering if this is the way to go. So I'm really, really excited to offer this all to you all. So the podcast will still be free, duh, because I love you. Uh, and then we are offering a new paywall community. So it's just $9.99 a month. I know, $9.99 a month, so cheap. I, I, I was like, okay, even when I was like balling on a budget and broke, like what would I be able to participate in in a way that would still feel like I'm being able to invest in myself, but in a way that like I can still pay the other things that needed to get paid, right? Um, so it's just $9.99 a month, and we're going to be rolling out more and more features. For now, every episode is either going to feature, I've always been offering the journal prompts and mantras and things like that. Um, and we're going to be going deeper into those on Substack. Um, but we're also going to have card reads. So if you want to hear the uh, card reading that goes along with today's episode, you can go over to Substack, paint your $9.99 for the month, uh, and you can get that reading. There's also going to be uh, group circles or Q&A. So you can write in questions for me. So rather than I know so many people are like, oh, I want to do a reading with you. And but, you know, 
321 may be out of your budget and I completely understand, right? And then that may also only be getting to you kind of in one lump sum versus I know a lot of you are healers and people that are already doing this work. So that may not be as beneficial for you, but you're finding that this space, my offering is something that's like, ooh, a good touchstone for you, right? So this is a great way where you can write in your questions and then I can like deliver an actual, you know, um, like true kind of locked in answer back to you. So that way it's really, we're creating this good, uh, like hands on, like true community in this space. Uh, we'll also be working towards not until, um, probably around, uh, August, September, uh, but we'll start to integrate when we will be doing like round table. So that way we can all come together. We'll have a different topic talking through what is it? What are we going through? So there's so many more opportunities and different uh, lessons and things that we'll be offering on there. So there's lots and lots of, excuse me, bonus content that's going to be coming up there. Um, and all of that is available available for you just for $9.99. There's not going to be an additional paywall. That's it. I'm going to be pumping out um, all sorts of different information and things for you guys. And that way it's like, okay, great. I was really connected to what Rachel said on this episode. And then there may be like, sometimes there's two to three, you know, additional pieces of content that go along with that. So just so that there's a place for you to really grow and for us as a community to grow together. So all of that is right there uh, on Substack. Also, Tired Mom has been out for a full month. Have you watched it? Have you watched it? You can listen to it. You can listen to it. Uh, so if you want to watch it, you can go to YouTube uh, and you can type in Tired Mom and uh, find that full half hour comedy special right there. You can even live cast it up to your TV and watch it there. Uh, it's also available on all audio platforms. So if you wanted to break it up uh, into you know your commute to and from work, you can do that as well. It's available on all audio platforms. So please go and check that out. The Misfit Light is in for a landing. So we finished up our May uh, series together and I'm taking the summer off. Mostly we are, uh, we're building up the, our sub stack in general. That's already up and together, but really kind of finding what's working, what we're really enjoying doing over in that space. And then uh, the Misfit Light is also going to be coming up on Substack. Again, there are going to be free options and then also an additional paywall at $9.99, or you can do both of them together um, at a discounted rate. So there's so, so much that's coming up. But uh, for right now, the everything is up on Misfit light on the Substack. We will link all of these, by the way, in the show notes. So uh, if you missed any of the offerings from April and May, uh, which I believe that both of those are still very potent energies of things that we're going through and moving through. So if you didn't catch them, I highly recommend to go back and watch them. They're super quick uh, videos. Everything is there. There's blog posts. It's great. So go and check that out. So that will be, uh, that's just there. We're not touching it. And then uh, we've got some bigger stuff coming up, but I'm not going to announce or share any of those moving parts yet with the Misfit Light, but that will be there. So for now, go and check out Tired Mom. Go and check out, please subscribe to my Substack. Uh, I would also really appreciate it the way, uh, believe it or not, um, making money at this allows me to feed my family uh, and do more things for you. So please, if you've really enjoyed this, I would be so grateful for your subscription and I would be so excited to learn more about you and what you're doing and how you found yourself in this space. So we're going to do all of that on the Rachel LaForce Show Substack. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got for you guys. Again, I've got a, uh, a card read for this episode, so go and check that out on my Substack. For now, stick with that con that contraction, baby. I know, I know it's hard. So please DM me and let me know, because oh, woo, 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 the days are long, baby. All right, I love you so much. Stay in it. Stay light. Love you. Mean it. Time, weather, and